Hey guys, we are back with some brand new ARK on the Vanilla with Sprinkle server. And today we're working on a project that I really just want to get done. A greenhouse. We need one of these things. We really do. Uh, so, I've decided to build it over here and uh, we're kind of going with kind of, I guess, like a half a dome style idea. I, I don't know if it's going to look good or anything. We're just going to see if it works well. If not, we could probably try to change it up a little bit, but... I'm kind of thinking like a half, like half a dome here. Uh, what a, what's half a dome? Is there like another word for that? I don't even know. Semi-dome? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I came up with this idea because somebody said that I should just build a massive dome as the greenhouse, which I thought was a great idea, but I didn't really know where I could build that. Like, there's not really a good spot to build that, and I don't want to build that over there because I think I'm going to build another dino tower on the other side of just where that uh, industrial forge is. So I didn't really know where to build it, um, and I just need to get this thing done. It needs to be beside the water or something, so hey, might as well just do it right here. We're just going to build right off the base, and I think it's going to look pretty good. So uh, let's just get started here. Don't forget to beat the crap. Sorry, I just saw something there. <laughs> Don't forget to beat the crap out of that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point. It really does help me out. I'm thinking that we want to... We're going to need to place these first, I think. Um, let me just go over what we're kind of doing here. So we're going to have it slant in a little bit, so I'll need to place some of these down. Uh, why is that all... what the hell? You guys see that? Look the way it's a, that's placing, what? I'm so confused, why is it so far off to the side? That is so weird. Uh, alright, well... Uh, oh, wrong one. Uh, need this one here. There we go, okay. So, uh, we're kind of just going to place these down really quick because we're going to need to have these to actually get some of the other pieces to snap on correctly and kind of line up and everything, so uh, that looks good. Though, now there's a gap. I'm so confused. What is that? Like, why? <laughs> why is there a gap? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's a nightmare. Look at that. That just looks terrible. God damn. All right, I don't know. We, we might place a pillar here or something just to kind of block that off, but this one right here is screwed up in its own way. Can't really do anything about that. Uh, Alright, whatever. Um, okay. Ah, that's really annoying. That really just looks terrible. And this one over here is not too much better. I mean, like, look at that. It just sticks right out. Seems like the aligning, the alignment or whatever of uh, these pieces is kind of messed up. Anyway, let's, let's try to just push on through here. So, we want to start off with some of these guys here. So, this is the S plus glass metal for anybody who's not familiar. It is essentially greenhouse, except it has the strength of, uh, like, metal structures, I guess. <laughs> and also, it's not, like, terrible. It's actually really, really cool. Like, it, it looks good as well. What the hell just... Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, well, now we gotta remove that. Crap. Everything's just going wrong here today. Okay. Uh, gotta put this away. And place another one of... Okay, let me just get my demo gun on my on my hotbar. <laughs> oh, we're just we're messing up here left right and center Over there you go uh, You go here. Hey, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Okay, so I think from here if we start to slant up Yeah, this is gonna have this is how it's gonna work basically um, So we should probably start off with the triangles Let me just start popping everything onto my hotbar so we're going to need those. We shouldn't need these anymore. Uh, is there anything else there that I'm going to need? No. Okay, so let's uh, start off with these triangles pieces then. So we want to snap them like this. This is also S+, plus for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, there, like that. And yeah, we will also have to use triangles here too. What? What is the logic right here? Did you guys see that? What? Just, I don't even understand sometimes. <laughs> I really just don't. Oh my god. Alright, give me that. Uh, so we want there. We want... What? <laughs> I just, just work, damn. Okay. Come on. Like this. Yeah, there you go. I like that. What is wrong with this? Just place correctly, please. Just, okay. Yay, okay, it only took like four times. <laughs> All right, well, uh, uh, now we gotta go with some of, wait, no, this one here. We can snap those on there, nice. And you can kinda see it's coming together here a little bit. 
That looks good. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. So, uh, now we're just gonna go by, like, another layer. Um, so we wanna start off with some of these guys. Like so. Uh, like so. And then we should be able to snap. Yeah, we can. Nice. That didn't go right. We gotta fix that one there. Uh, that one snapped onto something else. So we want to get you there. We want that snap point there. Okay, so we got to take this one away. And... No? There we go. Perfect. Um, and then we should be able to just put some ceilings off this right here. Alright, there's a couple snap points here too. Did that go right? I think it is. Cool, let me see. Let's just take a step back here. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'm seriously annoyed about this gap here, but besides that, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this. And I'm just going to leave it like wide open like this. I don't think we're going to put like a door or anything in. I think we're just going to leave it wide open because I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we're probably going to mess around with the glass here a little bit with some of these guns. Um, where's the transparency? There we go. We need you and we need the model gun. So let's just see about the transparency first. Mess around with this a little bit. Just give it a little bit of a tint. Maybe, let's just go 0 0.5. Let me see. How's that look? You can see that it's glass. Looks pretty good. I just, I don't know exactly how this is going to all look when it's done. I don't know what we're going to do about the models on all the rest of the glass here because you can hide some of these pieces. Let me just have a look with all of this shaded. Or tinted or whatever. Yeah, this is a this is a nice greenhouse. <laughs> All right, let me see like that. Okay, you can tell that there's a little bit of a tint on it, but it's not too much. I think I like it. I think I do. Hmm. Maybe a little bit more. Nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. All right. So now we want the model gun. I think. I don't know exactly what we're going to do about the models here. I kind of, I don't know if I like the stripes of metal going through, but we can hide some of those. I, hmm. Maybe I'll keep it on like the edge or something. So let me see. Let's, uh, let's, on this one here, we want here, here. So we want a corner. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the right one there. And then on this one, let's do here and here. So corner B maybe nice um, I think what we're gonna do then is if we can copy that and paste that there copy that and paste that there um, let's can I are we getting a server set yeah okay there we go whoa hey uh, so let me see which one is okay I don't know what's happening right now <laughs> that was weird let me see corner C. Is that the right one? No, D. Okay, so let's paste that there. And we want this to be corner C. So we could do that, and it just kind of opens it up like to little windows, but we can see that there are there is structure here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So um, we should be able to just copy some of these. Uh, copy that one. Copy that one. Copy that one. Uh, let's actually just paste that over here. Uh, we can do that here and here. And then uh, we need to get this one. You got to go there and there. And then this one can go here and here. And then we just got to get one side on each of these. So one side, side, side B. You should be side A then, right? Wrong. Okay, I keep pressing the wrong button. Perfect. Okay, that looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I like that. And we could probably just do the ceiling slightly the same way, I guess. If we do it like that, no. These are a little bit different, aren't they? Uh, yeah, they are. They are way different. Okay, for some reason, there is here. So is... Is here there? Okay. <laughs> good guess. Um, those are not aligned properly or something we have a stripe okay that's weird um 
Let me take that. That can go here, right? Okay. A little bit confusing. Like so. And like so. Alright, well, I'll probably just finish off the rest um, off camera. But you kind of get the gist of this. Looks pretty good, actually. Wide open like that without all the stripes going through. It looks pretty good. Looks really nice, actually. Hmm. Alright, so I can finish the rest off after. Uh, we do want to work on trying to play some of the other stuff. So I want a cooker in here. I think if I go like that, I should be able to snap one of these guys right onto this. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Oh, we got like two snap points. Can we go there? How is it already powered? What's it being powered from? The wires up here? That's way too far. What? Is it irrigated? It says it is. Uh, oh, oh no, it is perfect. Cool. So, uh, let me turn that off. We also want a fridge down here maybe as well. So I'll probably need to run some wires for this. I'm not sure why the, the cooker is powered. That doesn't really make too much sense. Let me just see if we can line this up pretty well. Uh, we can line this up probably with the floor here. Like so, and walk it back. That will work. How is that also powered? How are they being powered, though? Like, the, the wires are so far away. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain, but, like, holy crap. That's confusing. Uh, all right, crop plots. We need to place those here, and then over here, and over here. We're going to also need some irrigation for those, too. So, I'm not going to do, like, the one full circuit. I mean, I could just drop down a couple of these pipes and pretty much just call it quits after that. Uh, like that. Perfect. Should That should uh, update now in a second. Also, we do have 300% on the greenhouse effect, which is great. This one's only 45 for some reason, which is also great. Can you, like, update there? Why are you only 45? What? That doesn't make any sense. Fix yourself, God. All right, here. Let me see. Okay. Uh, so let's get one of these guys down here. Try to line it up as best as we can. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. 60% now, what? Is there something to do with the roof here? Did we do something wrong? Um, doesn't look any different. This one here is like aligned weird. You guys see that? What? Why is this one only 60? I'm, I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, maybe it's just a bug. Maybe it's gonna like update. I mean, it was 45 a second ago, so there's obviously something wrong. So, uh, let me place it down again. Maybe we'll get 75 now or something. <laughs> let me see. What are we gonna get? Come on, 60 again. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess that one's just not gonna grow as well. Uh, so we also have some of these farmers and gardeners. These are also S plus bits. They're essentially people <laughs> that do work. Um, I think the farmer pulls the fertilizer from like dung beetles and the uh, the little trough things. Uh, what are they called? The compost bins. He pulls the fertilizer from those and fills up the crop plots. And she will pull all of the vegetables and fruits and everything from the crop plots and she will hold them in her inventory she's kind of like a fridge i believe this was updated it used to take oh, wait no this one needs beer okay yeah this one used to actually need um what's it called the iced water for some reason but uh, now it requires kaolin soup which is okay we can we can manage that for sure but this one costs beer so we're definitely gonna have to work on some beer pretty soon here uh and then we can also get a shallow catharium as well so yeah this is pretty much the greenhouse almost done we just need to collect some other bits we need to get ourselves a pig and we also need to get a dung beetle or two so that's probably gonna be on the agenda here today because we got plenty of time left so uh yeah i'm gonna clean up bits here maybe try to do some more testing with this and we'll be back
This pig kind of looks like poop. Maybe we should tame him for poop. I don't know. <laughs> He's only a level 18. I kind of want to see if there's anything else around here. Maybe like uh, at least 50 or 60. Hey, we got another one over here. Uh, another level 18. Give me something different, please, game. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, we're just in the forest looking for pigs, obviously. That's the first step. We need pigs and we need dung beetles. And I can't find any decent pigs. We might have to just go for that one. The poop looking one, of course. I don't want the other one. <laughs> Got a Therizina over there. What level are you, buddy? Level 30. Crap. I'm looking for some decent level Therizinos. Need to tame two more. Our original tame was good, but I think we need a better one. Because I definitely want a battle Therizino and... We want to make like a Therizino army at some point, maybe take on the bosses, something like that. Uh, what the hell is, oh no wait, that's a uh, explore note area. Do we already have that one? We do. Uh, any freaking pigs around here at all? Piggies! What the hell is that? Is that a pig being attacked by a raptor? What are you? Hey, you are a pig. I'm just going to pick you up. I don't know what level you are. No, you don't kill him! What level is he? Oh, okay, well that's, I'm going to take that one. <laughs> it's a 162, perfect. Very bloody 162. Um, do these guys take much to knock out? I can't even remember. I don't know, because I don't want to kill him. He's pretty close to death. And getting wild herbivores to, like, heal, is that a thing? I know with carnivores, you could just drop them corpses or something to just get them to start healing. Oh, hey, what level are you? Uh, 50. Four. That's terrible. All right. Well, we have our pig in 162. Pretty cool. Mm, might just try to knock him out now. Might just try that because he's gonna take a little while to tame anyway. So, yeah, we're just gonna drop him in our little taming pen that we made over here. Um. So yeah, not not the worst. I I guess the fact that he's hurt like that, uh, we should be able to knock him out. We'll see. If we can't, then we'll just tame that level 18. Let's screw it. Uh, do I even have a pig saddle? I think I might. Might need to make one. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so we got our little pen over here. We're gonna drop him in. I got my rifle in my inventory. Although this guy's not really gonna attack. We don't want that rifle. We want the other one. Hey. There we go. Oh, what the hell? Uh, low memory. And then arc crashes. God damn. <laughs> and we're back from the crash. That was just great. That was great that that happened. Uh, all right, let's see. Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> How? I'm so confused. Why? <laughs> How the hell did that pig do that? It's like a spider pig. Oh, we'll name him that. We're naming him. We're naming him Spider Pig. We have to. Okay. Shoot him. Shoot him up the butt there. He's got some on his side as well. We gotta get them all over. Uh, I keep calling these guys pigs, and I keep getting comments of people telling me that they're actually closely related to elephants. So, yeah, we're still gonna call him a spider pig, though. Shoot him in the face if he'll hold still. Probably not. Alright, do I have my magnifying glass? No, I never have my magnifying glass. I just need to keep it in my inventory all the time. I always freaking look for it, and I never have it. Okay, come on, buddy. You're pretty bloody now. Oh, you're down. Perfect. All right. Ugh. All right. I gotta go back to the base. And we gotta go and get, um, we gotta go get some berries. Gotta bring out my Therizino for that. Um, and also I think I need to throw some berries into the, th into the trough as well. Um, I kind of feel like I haven't done that in like a day or two. Uh, my Therizino's up here. I've been trying to kind of keep things organized as best as I can, and I just decided to kind of leave some of my creatures, like, in these little gaps right here. I don't know if we're going to build, like, a proper utility dino pen like we had last season. Um, kind of still haven't decided yet. We might. We'll see. All right, this is, this is more than enough. <laughs> All right, so our little piggy's over here. He's just going to have a little nap for now. Don't think they require any narcotic, even at a high level. I'll just grab some of these. 
And we're just gonna grab all the medjos. Give them some of these too. It's more than enough, but you know. Can't hurt. Uh, Should have put those in first. Eat those, buddy. And I will stick that in. And let's just. Yeah. There you, there you go. Enjoy. And. Oh. Hmm, maybe we might need to babysit them a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. Let me just feed the rest of these. Uh, I don't know. He's not eating. What? Eat? Why aren't you eating? Alright, maybe it's just a little bit broken. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's bring this dude back to base. And we gotta go off and get our dung beetles now as well. What time is it? Oh, it's getting late. Oh, that means that the Megalosaurus are gonna be out in that cave. God damn. Is there anywhere else where I can get dung beetles? Game's freezing up because I was transferring a bunch of items. That's great. Ark, please fix that. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That didn't last too long. Oh man. Alright. So I'm trying to think, like, where's the best place to go for these dung beetles? Hmm. Might just head to the chitin cave anyway. We'll see. But you know what? It's fine. We'll, we'll just go in there. If we have to deal with megalosaurs, then we have to. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna just feed up some of my creatures here really quick. Apparently I also need to get some meat as well. <laughs> And uh, I'll probably see you guys over at the Chitin Cave. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna head in here. I have a torch because it's kind of cold, and, and I believe that these things can kind of warm you up a little bit. It's quite cold in here, though. Oh, what the hell? Secret! Secret Onyx! God damn. They're just like secret in the walls. Like, I don't even understand. How does that even make sense? But luckily, I didn't freaking get rabies from those guys. Where are they? <laughs> what? Is that them out with my RG? I'm so confused as to what's happening right now. It's a Dillo. Okay, get away. Hi. <laughs> All right. We need to get a better like weapon for caving. What the hell is in here? What just spat? Is that another Dillo? I'm so confused. Okay, let's head back in here. Hopefully not die. Am I actually dying of the cold here? I am a little bit. You know what? I think we're just going to wait a little bit here because there's no point in going in there and, like, getting really low from the uh, from the cold. So I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of just camp around here for a little while. Wait for the night time to pass. That is also a Trudon over here. That is terrifying. Trudons don't deserve to be alive. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in a few minutes. One. There's definitely more down here. Oh, yep. Right there. He's like stuck or something. Oh. Alright, we got them. Is that dung beetle gonna aggro? I don't believe that they do anymore. I think that they changed something to do with them. Uh, that they don't actually aggro unless you hit them now. Is that true? Oh, hey. Also, this is a level 18. <laughs> We're gonna call it Scatman. Because he's a Scatman. Alright. Let's chuck this dude up here. Uh, unfollow. Get him on the way out. What else is down here? By the way, all my armor's broken. Those onyx were very annoying. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, hey. Barely even just saw you there. Got him. All right, let's just head the other way because I kind of don't really feel safe going that way. There's always a bunch of megalosaurus that way. Hopefully there's nothing sneaky in the walls here. Hey, we got another dung beetle. What level are you? Level six. Oh, perfect. That's a that's an instant tame. Nice. Well, that's our two dog beetles. Let's get out of here. I don't like being in here, especially nude. It's not nice. All right. Where's our other guy? There he is. Oh, I thought that was something there. All right. Are you coming? You're very slow. I think I'll just leave you. 
I'll come back for you in a sec. So the point of coming over here without my dire wolf was that I could actually, you know, go into the cave, get two dung beetles, and bring them back on the same trip. Because if I came over here with my dire wolf, I could only bring one back. Though I do feel like a dire wolf should be able to put like a small creature in its mouth and carry it like a Megalosaurus can. They should do that actually, that would be amazing. Uh, alright, where's our other guy? Right here. Hello. Alright, we got him. Sweet, so that is two dung beetles that... Oh, he's trying to eat the corpse, okay. <laughs> that is two dung beetles, that is our, um, our pig, and that is our greenhouse built. So this whole project is almost complete. We just gotta get back and start growing up some crops. Bring these sket men back. Alright, we could probably just hop on and then pick up this one. Uh, on the RG. Oh, C is not the right button. What am I doing? Sweet. Alright, we got the two dung beetles. Heading back to base. Oh man. <laughs> the dung beetles like sniffing the RG. Look at this. Look at this. Can I even... It's hard to tell. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Alright. We'll see you guys back at base. Okay. Uh so we have our two dung beetles now, and also I never showed off the roof after I did it. You can kind of see like little slits and stuff, but I don't actually think that looks bad to be honest. I think that looks pretty cool. Considering it's glass, like that would probably happen if there was like different sheets of glass going over. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so we got to get these two in here. I'll drop the other one back here. Also, the pig is tamed up. I just saw it a minute ago as we were passing by. So let's uh, chuck this guy in here too. Now we're gonna use a new piece of the S Plus uh, mod where basically this thing is called a hitching post. You can actually pretty much attach, okay, the the little string on it immediately is like really weird, but then it bounces back. You can kind of like attach creatures to these little hitching posts and it means that they can be on wander and they won't actually go away, uh, which is really, really cool. Like seriously, <laughs> that's, that's a game changer completely. Uh, can we chuck anything on you? Can we, we can put this one on as well, can't we? Let's take that back, and I'll take that back. I'll put that on there. Perfect. How's that only weigh two? Okay, never mind. Uh, you got a level. Nice. So then we can put these guys on wander, and they won't actually wander off, which is really handy. Let's do that really quick. Cool. Uh, also, we're going to just mess around with them a little bit more, so uh, ignore group whistles. Ignore group whistles, and also I'm going to stick them onto passive, so they're not going to attack anything. Oh, that's aggressive. <laughs> uh, passive. Uh, I'm going to get you onto passive as well. Perfect. So these guys will not do anything else besides eat poop and sit here and create fertilizer for us, pretty much. So that is pretty awesome. Alright, that's going to take a little while for that to actually go through. But uh, as you can see, they're both attached to the hitching post, and it's just a really awesome new piece of the S Plus mod. Seriously, I love this mod so much. All right, so we have our fridge, we have our cooker, we have our little helpers over here, which eventually will become useful. Um, I could probably start making Kaylee soup pretty soon, but it's going to be a little while off before I can start making beer. I don't even have, like, a, a beer garden or whatever yet. I don't even know where we're actually going to put all of our beer barrels and stuff. Hmm. Can't really put them in here. We don't really have any room. But I might be able to come up with something. We'll see. We'll see. Right. So let's go get our let's go get our pig. Do I have a pig saddle right now? Is the question. Uh, saddles. Where's my saddles box? Here. Um. Theomia. No. Okay. Do I even have that one learned? I I would actually Theomia because we used to have pigs. Uh. So fifteen. Okay. 15 fiber, and then we need around 7 more hide. Fiber and hides up here. Okay, and then around 7 hide, I think it was. Perfect. Uh, Fiomia? Is that you? There we go, perfect. Okay, cool. So, let's go get our piggy. We can chuck him back in there, too. He's just gonna chill in there as well. I think there's gonna be enough room for him, too, hopefully. Um, and we can just pretty much like feed him poop all the time and get him to feed those dung beetles whenever we want. So our little taming pen is over here. Just uh, over here. There we go. We can see him already. 
I won't put him on follow, actually. Oh, crap. No, we're gonna... Uh, hmm. <laughs> I've just realized <laughs> he's trapped in there. Uh, we could probably just take off some walls. Uh, let's give you that. We gotta get you out of there, buddy. There you go. Let's put these walls back now. Sweet. Okay. Let's bring our piggy over here. Oh, we never named it. Um, so... Spider pig. Cool. All right, so he's pretty much... Did you guys see that? What was that? It was like giant lines or something going across the screen. That was so strange. Also, we're, we're on gamma three. So we want to go gamma two. Yeah, that looks much better. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, he's pretty much just going to sit in there. I'll probably put him on ignore group whistles and everything as well. Uh, we could probably collect up some berries in the way. Can they not collect berries? I thought they could. What can they collect? Uh, thatch, I guess. Whatever. Uh, let's drop all that. So yeah, uh, he's just gonna sit in there the whole time. And uh, I gotta do all those whistles and stuff. Make sure that he's all set to be our slave forever. Oh man. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty cool project so far. Um, I'm really eager to actually get it going properly, you know, actually have some crops going and everything. I think we'll keep him over here, maybe. Not a bad spot. Not a bad spot at all. Uh, so we gotta get you on... Um, gotta get him onto passive. Gotta get him to... Where's behavior? There it is. Ignore group whistles. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, he's just pretty much gonna sit here. Let me grab that poop. You know what, actually, I've just realized the best thing to do is just to take their saddle off so you don't accidentally mount them all the time. Can you take another poop here? Uh, one of these? No. Wait, maybe? No, oh, we're like one off. You guys see that? Holy crap. Alright, can we... Yeah, we can put it in here. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Our project is complete. Um, we will be obviously harvesting this stuff up eventually off camera. This one is still messed up for whatever reason. Have no clue why. Maybe it's something to do with that ceiling right there. I'm not exactly sure. I just, uh, I, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Also, let's have a look at it from over here really quick. Yeah, looks pretty good. Nice.